everyone. Welcome back to the Texas Real Estate YouTube channel of the LLRE Group Team. Today, T will take everyone to tour a very beautiful house by Builder Highland Homes in Leander City, Austin, Texas. This house has an area of 2,775 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, three car garage, and one story house. Please watch until the end of the video to know what incentives Builder currently offers. Everyone, let's go sightseeing with T. Wow, my first impression when entering this house is that the ceiling is very high and the hallway is very long. This hallway flows straight into the living room. If everyone notices, on the left side of this door is an office. In this space, if I work from home, I can make an office with very large windows, full light entering the room. I really like the way this model home is decorated. They use white and black as the main colors. Later, when you visit the house, you will see that the main colors are white and black a lot, and that is the highlight of that house. And when I get to the end of the hallway, I will see the living room. This living room is not too big, but feels very cozy. With the characteristic of the house being a lot of windows, do you see that? too much window, so it makes you feel like the space is open and very airy. People notice that their decoration style is a bit farmhouse oriented but also youthful and modern. The color tones they use here also have an emphasis on black. Uh, and Tay likes the chair, really likes these two chairs, the leather chair, and it combines with the color of the sofa. The fabric of this sofa is a fabric chair. The two things seem to be opposites, but when combined they are very compatible. Next to the living room is the kitchen. From the living room and kitchen, it connects to each other and is an open concept floor plan, so it feels very open but cozy. I really like this island. The one that is white and has gray edges matches the cabinet. The cabinet color is a combination of gray and white tones here, which feels very modern. They use granite here, and the equipment is also stainless steel. This backflash, wow. So beautiful, everyone, combined with color, of the countertop, it matches very well. The feeling of this kitchen is a bit farmhouse oriented, but at the same time, very modern. And next to the kitchen is a dining room. I find it very beautiful, even though it doesn't look very big from the way I look at it. This table is actually very big, everyone. And this table is currently designed to hold six chairs, but T thinks it can hold eight chairs. So I feel like the dining room isn't too big, but really with this table, it's not small. I like this area. In this area, you can sit and read a book or have your family sit and have breakfast here every morning. There are some children. If there are children in the house, the children can sit here and play. Another feature of this dining room is that the windows are very high, letting in a lot of light. They also used a color tone between white and black, so it created a very modern look. I was so busy admiring the beautiful living room and kitchen that I forgot to show everyone another room in this house. I think a lot of people like it. Wow! The first highlight I saw on the wall was Austin, Texas. They also used white and black contrasting colors to create a feeling of being both cozy and modern. I see that it can be used for many different purposes. I can use it as a game room or I can use it as a movie theater room or if I have small children, I can use this room so they can keep their toys in here and just playing in here makes it easier for parents to clean up. This chair is very big. I think when I have a party, I can have many guests here to play games or chat. There are many entertainment activities in here that I can use this room for such purposes. Now T will take everyone on a tour of the main bedroom of the house. The first special feature of this room is the high ceiling. This bedroom's ceiling height is still the same as the living room, which is about 11 or 12 feet tall. A special highlight of this room is a bay window. The window is almost as high as the ceiling and has four window frames. 
Imagine waking up every morning looking out at the light and feeling very comfortable and ready for a busy working day ahead. I see that the combination of colours in this room, although not too sophisticated, still creates a feeling of sophistication and a unique beauty. I really like this bathroom space, everyone. Even though it doesn't look like it's too big, it actually has all the amenities of the room, including a double sink and a bathtub, as well as a shower and standing bathroom. So looking at it like that, it's really not small. One thing about this bathroom that T really likes is that in the middle of the two sinks, there is a very large window, everyone, so a lot of light enters the room. I think I can use this space as a dressing table, it's very convenient. On the left hand side of the hallway are two additional bedrooms. So these two bedrooms share a bathroom here. It looks very big compared to the normal size everyone. Each of these bedrooms has a walk-in closet. Rarely have I seen a walk-in closet that is so spacious. This room is decorated a bit strongly for boy. And this is the second spare bedroom. Even though the ceiling is already very high, their decoration has accents running along the wall, giving me the feeling that the ceiling is even higher. What T likes about this house is that there's nothing more than windows. There are windows everywhere. This window is very tall, so a lot of light enters the room. I think this type of decoration is for girl, right? The color tone they have with a little pink accent here is very feminine, but T really likes this style, very modern and very youthful. The last bedroom of the house is right next to the office, everyone. This bedroom has its own bathroom. So I think this is very convenient. When I have relatives or friends visit my house, they will have their own space. I really like this window arch. It is both big and its height is also very high. Uh, the decoration of this room has a bit of a farmhouse feel, these lights, these cabinet colors, but it's also very modern and youthful with the photos. And the bed is all white. Looks so cute. This house has a patio outside the back. The location of the house is located a little higher. Everyone walked uphill on the hill a little bit. So here there will be a staircase going down to the garden. Looking down here makes me feel very airy and very comfortable. The garden is also very large. Here I think it's very appropriate when I have friends visit or I do something barbecue on the weekend, everyone. that we just saw has an area of about 2,775 square feet. But in addition, they also have other floor plan models from 1,800 to 2,800 square feet. It depends on whether you like a big house or a small house. T can help you find a house in this area with the criteria you want. The starting price of this house is 661,000. If I had to add more options or upgrade, the estimate would be about 700,000. That was before I had any incentive or offer from Builder. Currently, Builder has incentives such as you can choose a rate of 5 to 99% if you go with their preferred lender. But I think the interest rate is going down now. With that rate, they can give you an even better offer. In addition, if I want, I can choose another package for 15,000 to use as closing cost. Tax and HOA of this area, tax is 2.58% and the HOA is about $600 a year. Schools in this area zone into Leander ISD, which is one of the very best ISDs in the Austin area. From here to some markets such as Costco, H Mart and Heb are very close, about a 10 minute drive away. In addition, it takes about 15 minutes to get to factories like Apple, or we can go to Round Rock where Dell is located or maybe I'm not too far from Samsung, everyone. And from here, it's about 20 minutes to shopping areas like Round Rock and Outlet. And if I go to Domain, it's only about a 15 to 20 minute drive. 
Thank you everyone for watching the video of Highland Homes House, Palmera area in Leander, Texas. If you want to know more information about this property, please call the LLRE group team here. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Let Team T have more motivation to make more videos. Bye everyone.